it's no longer seen as a necessity for many of us. What's going on everybody? Hope everybody's feeling good. Hope everybody's doing well. I am back with a post that I saw online. I thought you guys would find this interesting. Um, don't forget I will be back tonight at 8.30 with an email. Make sure you come back at 8.30 for the email. But someone's asking the question, why are so many men refusing to get married these days? Is this merely a response to third wave feminism or due to other causes or someone says i am 34 years old i flatter myself that i am an eligible bachelor i am unmarried why do i refuse to get married i don't refuse it's just that marriage just isn't as much of a thing as it used to be it's gone from being a foundation of adulthood to a capstone it's no longer seen as a necessity for many of us it's a nice to have something you do when when everything else has fallen into place. And when that's your attitude, you're okay with not getting married. I can date. I can have a shorter medium term companionship without getting married. I wouldn't consider it a tragedy if I'm still unmarried at 42. This means that if I decide that I want to marry someone, it must truly be that they are adding something exceptional to my life. It's not just I like you well enough and we should build a family together because we're old enough and society tells us it's time. It's you are a fantastic person and I don't want to imagine my life without you. That's a very high standard and historical marriage rates would have been much lower had such standards been widespread. But the women I'm interested in usually have similar standards for what they would consider a desirable spouse. They have a strong sense of agency and are all and are only interested in marriage if it's not going to mean giving up their aspirations. I wouldn't have it any other way. Feminism is related to the above only insofar as it has empowered women to choose for themselves whether women to choose for themselves and when to get married. Now, let me give my thoughts on this. It's just not worth it. We hear all these stories here. We hear all these stories, guys, giving their all. You guys probably know people in your family, men in your family, who have given their all to a wife for a number of years. It could have been in your own household, your father. And the woman just spits in your face. The way she repays you is cheating, divorcing you, lying, stealing, whatever. It's not worth it. What's the point? Women cheating and I just did a story. Women cheating and you and the man having to pay her alimony. She ruined the marriage. A woman to sign up for marriage knowing I don't care if I do something wrong and cause the divorce. He does something wrong and cause the divorce. Oh, we both disagree that we shouldn't be married anymore. She knows she gets the better deal at the end of the day. And that's all she cares about. That's why you'll see more women saying, no, marry me. Make me an honest woman. I mean, there's women out there who, who are saying no to marriage because, you know, they're really focused on their careers and they were told, hey, choose your job over a family and things like that. But, you know, eventually they'll become miserable. But there are women out there claiming, hey, marry me. Make me an honest woman. You know, where are, what are we? Let's be more. I'm tired of just being your girlfriend. As soon as you put that ring on her finger, listen, we all know, I don't care what the woman looks like. There's, it, there's hundreds of guys in her DMs every day. Every day. Every so often throughout that relationship, she's considering, if she hadn't cheated already, she's considering cheating. She's considering taking up someone's offer in one of those DMs. She's responding back to some of those DMs. Ooh, I like how he looks. Do something wrong that day. Make coffee for yourself and don't make it for her or something. I don't know. She's upset. On her lunch break, she's scrolling her, her DMs. 
I'm going to go ahead and respond to this guy. My husband ticked me off today. It ain't worth it, dog. It, it is not worth it. It's not worth it. Guys, like I said, tonight I will be back at 830 with an email. Make sure you come back for that. That being said, I'll catch you guys later.